So good afternoon. We are back again. Hopefully I will not stumble my way through this video like I did the last one. If you didn't check that last video out, make sure you go and check it out. Emil Smith-Rowe has a verbal agreement with Arsenal to sign a contract when he's back off holiday. I don't know when that is, but apparently he does have a verbal agreement. Um, also, Nuno Tavares. Here we go, says Fabrizio. Uh, so that should be um, announced by Arsenal very, very soon, next coming days. That is a done, done deal. Um, I'll be dropping a video on that once it is done, obviously. Might even do a live stream. I've, uh, I've not done many live streams this summer so far. I'm enjoying my summer. Uh, but I will be bringing the live streams back again. I will be doing some member streams soon as well um, next month. So keep your eyes peeled for them as well. Um, don't forget, follow the Instagram if you want to be involved in the giveaway. Um, that will be starting next month. So if you follow me on Instagram, you're in. If you don't, then what are you waiting for? 40 odd thousand if you don't follow me. So it's getting on. I see you've all got Instagram. I know you. And uh, make sure you stick a thumbs up on the video and subscribe. And big up to everybody who has done so already. But we are linked again to Marcel Sabitza. And this is a player that I really like. This is a player that excites me when I watch him play football. A player that can score goals. He can create goals. He works hard in midfield. He can play anywhere down that spine of midfield. DM, CM, AM. And um, I've been very impressed with him every time I've watched him. I'm not a Bundesliga fan. I don't sit and watch German Bundesliga football on a weekend. I have better things to do than watch, uh, if I'm honest, like watching paint dry most of the time. <laughs> only joking. All the German Bundesliga hipsters out there. Uh, don't come attacking me in the comments. I'm only playing. Uh, but we are linked to him and he does have one year left on his contract. It expires this day next year. And he is going for around 17 million euros. And he's only 27 years old as well. He's been at um, Leipzig for seven seasons. 227 games, 52 goals, 42 assists, if you like your stats. And um, what I like about this guy is his ability to just keep the ball ticking over and keep it moving. It definitely brings something special into this team. We haven't really got somebody that can that can do that in midfield. And albeit he is um, he can play anywhere, sorry, down that spine. I don't want to see him at DM. I think he's completely wasted there. I think his passing range, his vision, his goals, his assists... And just his clever all-round play, really, his movement on a football pitch is superb. He knows where everyone is on the pitch. He knows where he is on the pitch and who's around him. And he never seems to be under pressure or pressed when he's got the ball. And that's because he's a very clever footballer. And um, he would bring us up levels. And I mean levels in midfield because our midfield is quite possibly one of the worst in the Premier League as it currently stands. Obviously, that is about to change. We are going to sign some players. We are going to let some players go. But we do need to make sure we do some clever signings. And I think this would be a really clever signing. He'd elevate our midfield, different level. He's cheap and he is still coming into his prime in 27 years old, like I said. So I think this is a win. Um, whether the story is true or not remains to be seen. But it's out there. We're talking about it. We'll get your thoughts on it. I'm giving you mine. What I like about him as well is the fact that he doesn't hide in football matches. You know, a lot of our midfielders, they go hiding. Granit Xhaka especially, all tucking at left back and hide down at left back. He doesn't want to grab the game by the scruff of its neck. You know, Danny Ceballos used to do the same. Doesn't want to grab the game and take the game by the scruff of the neck and move us forward up the football pitch. What I like about Savitsa is the fact that he can do that. His crossing of a football into a penalty box is elite. He is a top, top baller. And um, we could do a lot worse than signing him, that's for sure. And I think, like I said... I said this on the Smith Rowe video I did earlier. I want to see Smith Rowe play in that attacking midfield role, but he ain't going to be the only player that can do that. We need more than one because if he gets injured, then we're snookered again. We're back to square one. We've been linked to Odegaard. We've been linked to Madison. They're going to cost stupid money, um, albeit I would take Madison. I think he's quality. Not so with uh, with Odegaard. I, I don't don't particularly rate him, if I'm honest. But I do rate Sabitzer, and I do think for 17 million euros which is around, what, 14, 15 million quid? I think that's an absolute steal. And I think, like I said, he would raise our midfield levels. Then we go and get Thomas Partey behind him. We've got a bit of steel in midfield. We've got a, a guy that's good technically on the ball, can drive forward as well. And then, obviously, we go and get one more next to him with Granit Xhaka leaving. We need another one next to him. Maybe Sabitzer could be the guy that plays next to Thomas Partey. Then we put Smith Rowe up there and potentially go and get another attacking midfield 
that can also play CM. Then we've got versatility in the team and we've got players that can play multiple positions quite well. And that's something that I think we should be looking at, something we could be doing. Obviously, I'd love to be a fly on the wall with some of these conversations in the uh, in the boardroom and on Edu's phone. But unfortunately, I'm not privy to that information. But I'd love to know your thoughts on Sabitza. Um, obviously, we've seen him in the Champions League. We've seen him at the Euros. You know, we see him in the, on a yearly basis every season. We see him at the highest level of football. Leipzig are a decent football team. But I do think it's time he leaves. I really do. I think that the ship has sailed for Sabitza to win titles at Leipzig. And um, obviously, he's not going to win one at Arsenal. But it is a bigger challenge. We're in the mud at the minute. We're not very good. We're, you know, trying to rebuild Mikel Arteta's Barmy Army and all them ones. And um, yeah, maybe he would be up for the challenge. Like I said, he has only got one year left on his contract. Exactly one year today, his contract expires. So I think he's open to a move. They have offered him a new contract. He hasn't signed that. So I think if we go with the money they want, which is 17 million euros, I think we get the guy. I genuinely do. And like I said, superb footballer i like his work rate as well like he doesn't hide like when i've watched him especially in this euros as well the last few games that he's played in the euros the guy is everywhere like literally left right center then he's tracking back he's winning the ball back he's making little niggly fouls which are not bad because they're not yellow card fouls which is decent he's not rash in a challenge he's just clever in a challenge and there's a big big difference between the two um but all round he ticks every single box. He scores, he creates, he's got work rate, he's intelligent, his IQ is sick on the football pitch, his touch is silky, and um, he's very cheap as well. Win, 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 baby. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on Sabitza. Leave that in the comments. I'm taking him in a heartbeat. And uh, the money we're going to get for Granite Xhaka will pay for him straight away. So that's an instant win. Uh, thank you very much. Roma might as well just transfer it straight to Leipzig, and we're just do the transactions. <laughs> I'm calling from your bank. <laughs> but listen, I'll be back again at 10 o'clock tonight with another update. Thank you to everyone who does subscribe. I do appreciate you all, uh, genuinely. And um, make sure you are subscribed if you're not, because the road to 60K is on. We're closing in, baby. Lee Gunner closing in. Make sure you stick a thumbs up on the video if you haven't already. I do appreciate all of you that do that. It does help a lot. Uh, make sure you check out my shorts as well. Not the ones I'm wearing, because um, that's just wrong. Um, <laughs> you perverts. But make sure you check out the shorts. I'm going to be doing them every day. I'm going to be dropping a story every day on YouTube as well. I thought they'd done away with that feature. They haven't. They just moved it somewhere else and didn't bother telling me, um, which is why I've stopped doing them. But last year, I was bang on these stories and was picking up a lot of subscribers, a lot of views. I was getting like 200,000 views a week off of my stories. So... Big up to all of you lot. They're coming back again. The shorts are going to be coming back, little 15-second clips that I'll be dropping on the channel. Uh, when I get back to Spain, uh, which shouldn't be too long, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, I've got a few things lined up as well. So, yeah, for, the, for these shorts, it's going to be sick. And for my other channel, the gaming channel. So keep your eyes peeled for all of that. Make sure um, you follow my Instagram if you want to be involved in the giveaway. Listen, it's nothing major. It's nothing, I just, like, nothing big. But I thought, you know what? All you guys that follow me, man, you, you deserve a little saying back. So, yeah, man, that, there's my little kind gesture. That will be dropping in July, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled. Follow the Insta down below. I'll be back at 10. Make sure you go and check out the shorts, though. Make sure you check out the stories. Make sure you check out the Smith Row video I did earlier. Uh, until then, uh, all have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon and evening. And uh, don't forget, I'll tear out. We'll let Southgate just have an out as well. We're out of here. Laters, peeps. Later.